It's not like that. I So this is it, day one of training at the WWE Performance Center. As you can see, it looks like everyone heard I was coming and decided they'd be better off staying home. This is cool, but there's no way my journey ends here. I'm going to WWE and then straight to the top, where I make sure hey, that- what are you doing? You're an hour and a half early for your orientation. I was just... checking out the facility? <laughs> There'll be plenty of time for that later. How did you even get in here? Guy up front let me in. Oh, big guy with the mustache? Kinda sweaty? Yep. Well, that's Todd's final strike. Hope he enjoys early retirement. Stick up for the security guard and blame the security guard. I, think I tried showing him my him. ID, but he said it wasn't necessary. And then he told me to walk right in. I mean, I get that I look like I belong here, but the guy's clearly not cut out for the job. If it were up to me, I'd fire him. Thanks for your input. Okay, you anyway, you're forward. going to need to fill out your information on this and sign a bunch of waivers before you can begin training today. And when you're done with all that, there's actually a fun part. You get to design your wrestling gear in case you become a WWE superstar. You mean when I become a WWE superstar? Yeah, sure. Wait, have you been filming this entire time? Is that a problem? Filming's not allowed in here without prior consent, which you should have been told by security. Frickin' Todd. Turn it off, please. We got caught in 4K. Alright, I'm my pro athlete and the actor. I think we're gonna be MMA. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Alright, I'm gonna create my avatar. Da -da -da. There he is. You done oh with my all that gosh, yet? but he's not sure what's through his eyes. It takes time to design a look like that. Eh, I have seen worse. So now what? Should I go wait at the front desk with you until it's time to start? Front desk? What do you think I do here? I'm Corey Klein, head recruiter and occasional babysitter of people who don't follow instructions and show up way earlier than they're supposed to. Oh, that Sorry, Corey. Montamba. I guess when we were emailing, I just saw your name and assumed that... You know what? It's nice to meet you in person, finally. Go get changed. Then head over to the gym. The other trainees who started last week should be showing up soon. And to clear up any potential confusion on your end, they are men. Got it. Thanks. I know that. This is a men's story mode. Obviously. Let's talk to Hector Flores. Hey, new guy, right? I'm Hector Flores. Welcome to the PC. Oh, Thanks. I'm excited to get going. Thanks, sir. Especially since I heard you started last week. It started here, at least. I've been training in wrestling for years before this. It's part of growing up in Mexico. Are you from one of those famous wrestling families? No, where I'm from, you were either into wrestling or football. Sorry, soccer. I chose wrestling. I played soccer I when I was a play. kid, but there wasn't enough punching. So eventually I got into MMA. There was a lot more punching. So why make the switch from MMA to wrestling? I love fighting, but I got burned out with the long training camps and only getting to fight a couple times a year. Plus, I wanted a new challenge. So I started training for this a few months back and WWE took notice. That's good. But don't expect this to be easy. You're going to have to work as hard or harder than you ever have before to make it to WWE. I realize that, and I respect everything the WWE superstars do, inside and outside the ring. And I know I can do the same thing, if not better. 
That's a high bar to set. But good luck. Thanks, Hector. Thanks for the good luck. Let's do Paragon JP. Hey, who are you? Okay, you don't have to start it off. First day like training here. It's nice no! to meet you in person. Since I transitioned from MMA to wrestling, I've been watching a lot of your matches from Japan. And when I heard you were here, I was excited to get in the ring with you. Yeah, well, you better act fast since I don't plan on being here too long. Why is that? Because they should have never sent me here to begin with. I don't belong in the same place as someone just crossing over from MMA or some stupid former mascot. If you haven't met that goon yet, don't bother. Don't underestimate me just because I come from another sport. Besides, I wouldn't be the first wrestler to cross over from MMA. Yeah, well, I kind of wish you were the last. You talk a good game, but when this is over, you'll be running back to whatever MMA promotion you were cut from. I've never run away from a challenge, and that's not going to change now. I look forward to proving you wrong. Yeah. Press the wrong button there, but okay. Chase. I heard you were starting today. Big fan. Are you a referee? Are you a referee here <laughs> a referee? or? Oh no, man. I'm training to be a wrestler. I know I'm a bit on the smaller side, but I'm actually crossing over from another sport too. I spent some time in minor league baseball. Really? Who'd you play for? Well, I, I wasn't a player. I was actually a mascot named Ribby. But I was around <gasps> a ton of good athletes. This guy's Ribby. Oh, okay. Well, that counts for something, I guess. The best part of the job was they used to have indie wrestling shows at the stadium all the time, where I got to rub elbows with legends like Jerry the King Lawler. He found out I was training on the side as a wrestler and actually helped me get a shot here. Not that I couldn't have made it on my own. So that oh, explains it. Charity. You're Lawler's charity case. It's not like that. It's not like that. I deserve to be here. You'll see. Sure. If I need a mascot to cheer me on, I'll let you know. Whatever. I was going to ask you to autograph something for me, but now I'm not sure I want it. Probably not worth anything anyway. I signed a whole bunch of waivers already, saying I'm not liable for anything I do to you in the ring. How about I give you one of those? Well, I'd prefer a signed mouthpiece or glove, maybe, but I guess that'd be cool, too. Thanks. See you out there. Idiot. I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. The rest of you have heard this speech already, so we'll try to make it quick. On our first day, he did the whole ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages thing. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. It was awesome. We'll do the talking, Chase. I was just telling him about your cool DX intro you did. Chase! What Road Dog was getting at is we are going to give you the foundation to the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. Keep in mind, you will be judged at all times. The big man in the sky is always watching. Not that big man. There's a camera up there with a live feed that goes directly to Triple H's office in Stamford. The coaches and PC staff certainly have input. But ultimately, he'll decide when the time's right to bring the GMs from NXT, Raw, and SmackDown here so you can showcase your talents. <laughs> I'm ready for that now. Yeah, we know you think that, but it's not your call, Big Shot. Okay, now that all that's out of the way, we're going to start with some one-on-one -on -one matches to see where everyone's at. All right, new guy, since it's your first day, We'll let you choose who you want to face. Shawn Michaels. 
choose from the guy standing next to you. Okay. I'm not an option. Eddie, you idiot. Look, he tastes like Shawn Michaels. I could beat one of these guys, but that would be expected. I want to do the unexpected in WWE, like defeating a two-time Hall of Famer on my first day here. I know that might rub people the wrong way, but I don't care. I want to make an impact, and I want to do it right now. Uh, Hunter, you seeing this? This is your chance to say you're kidding. I'm not. It's cool. I'll do it. Sean, that's really not going. necessary. From Look, Fortnite. if I was standing there in his shoes 30 years ago, I might have said the exact same thing. I have the shrine gun, so... I'm not the HBK. The wants me out, bro. But one thing hasn't changed. I don't lie down for anybody. Let's see what you, you got, know. kid. Let's go, Sean. Hi. Teach him why you're the showstopper. <sighs> Shut up, I was a big fan. Old habit. You're so trash. Alright, come on, Sean. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Up, 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 up. Use a shotgun, gun, bro. Use a shotgun. gun. Ah! Justin. The guy from Fortnite, bro. No. Bop! Get up. Get up. I don't even know what my finisher is. He reversed it. I don't even know what my finisher is. What my finisher is. He had a, he had a finisher. One, two. <gasps> the final cut. One, two, three. <gasps> what? Superman punch. Claps. Easy claps. Ooh, I'm Shawn Michaels and I'm a two time Hall of Famer. I'm a heel. <laughs> no, I don't care. Oh, look, I'm John Cena. Paragon J. Pierce. Attitude, I'm Mark. Oh, I'm fine. That. I hate that guy. Rick Albright. I hate him. I hate him. I am him already. Alright, let's upgrade. Points, but we upgraded. So let's talk to Sean Mitchells. I'll hand it to you. Took a lot of guts to call me out and then back it up in the ring. I said I was going to make an you. impact. And that's exactly what I did. Impact wrestling. It was a risk and also a bit of a shortcut. From my experience, those two things don't always work out. But this one did. Yeah, from your experience. Didn't it? Yeah, didn't it? I guess so, since Triple H just texted me that he saw our match on his live the game. feed. He said he was impressed, and he'd be keeping an eye on you. Well, there you go. Right. Everything turned out great, didn't it? Yeah, yeah except for my it. sore back. Wasn't exactly oh, planning yeah. on competing today. Oh no, today. my sore back. Now I'm paying the price. But you're an old man. Just keep in mind, you. this is you one match. A, you have a sore back. You still have a lot to prove old. before you're ready for WWE. And you're not supposed to be wrestling. I don't even know why I called you out. What the hell was that? What do you mean? I mean no, calling you? out Shawn Michaels on your first day. There are unwritten rules to follow here. There's a system in place. Who do you think you are to just ignore all that? I'm the legendary guy I from I think I'm anime. the top prospect now. No. Yeah, Just I am. because you caught an old timer off guard no, I doesn't my, make my you the top guns. anything. I don't even have to That use title my guns. still belongs cool. to me, and everyone here knows it. That's not what Triple H posted no. on social media. Wait, what yeah. did he say? Yeah, what did he say? Man, it sure is easy to get in your head. I'll keep that in mind going forward. Yeah, it is. One, two, three. 
Bro dog, what's up, brother? Just so you know, I'm not cool with how you acted on your first day. Challenging Shawn Michaels might have worked out, but it isn't how we do things around here. So I'm not trying to be cute or anything, but you're in my doghouse. Welcome to the doghouse! Let me save you some time. If you're looking for some kind of apology or for me to admit I was wrong, it's not going to happen. Fine. If I can't talk some sense into you, then maybe I can get through to you in the ring. Ooh. Are you saying you want me in a match? Yeah, bro. Like, oh, that's Damn straight. Like, what? You and me what? today, one on one. one. He's actually finna do it. He, he's finna do it, bro. Beat another Hall of Famer? I'm gonna pass. I don't know Beat what you think you're going to accomplish. Alright, let's go. He has a finisher, of course he does. Of course he does. Because he's flipping road dog. <gasps> Yo. No! One. No. No! Alright, he might he actually might do me like that. One! Two! <gasps> I'm gonna be down another Hall of Famer. Nah, I can't just I can't just lose after saying that. It's time. Molly what? That didn't mean melon. But spear. One, two, One, three. three. Easy e claps. But I'm, am I doing charity work out here? Cause I think I am. The Rogue Dart Challenge complete. 